met uh, company members of the Steppenwolf Theater Company probably 1977 or 78, and uh, I, or it might have even been 76, I was taking classes at St. Nicholas Theater. And um, Stephen Schachter, who was the artistic director, was all excited because he was bringing in a bunch of actors from Highland Park that had just started a company called Steppenwolf to do 5th of July. And he could not shut up about how brilliant these actors were, and he'd never met people this talented, and this is an amazing company. And so I think I was all of 18 or something when I saw 5th of July, 18 or 19. And uh, thinking, wow, these are these are exceptional, extraordinary actors that are working in a way that um, a lot of theaters aren't. So I I was, <laughs> well, needless to say, really impressed. Uh, that was my first experience with seeing Steppenwolf actors. I didn't know any of them; had never met any of them. Remains Theater was the theater company I was in before Steppenwolf. Um, Remains and Steppenwolf sort of kind of grew up together. We were the same age range. We were peers, and we quite often would swap actors. Um, if we needed an actor that that they, they could fill, you know, we could sort of bounce back and forth quite often. I was in Remains Theater for 15 years, starting in 1980, 81. Um, and when Remains folded, uh, Steppenwolf was kind enough to take in an orphan. Um, because I had worked here so often, uh, it was sort of an easy, easy breezy fit. So, uh, so that's, that's how I came into this company. The first play I did at Steppenwolf was You Can't Take It With You, Frank Galati directing. And I played Effie, the dancer, or Essie, Essie, the dancer. Um, and uh, I had the time of my life. It was so much fun. Uh, and lucky enough, I have also been able to direct here other, uh, in, in addition to acting, and uh, that's just meant the world to me, to be able to do both. It's just, um, you know, what more can a theater artist ask for? I have never known life outside an ensemble, so I'm very lucky, and I'm, I, think, I think my experience is peculiar in that way. I don't think that most actors can say that. I do find that when I am doing work outside of the ensemble, I get very lonely. Uh, I feel alone up there, or I feel alone in front of a camera. And I think a lot of that could be attributed to uh, a certain emotional immaturity. Fine, I'll own up to that. But I think also a lot of it is, is, is I feel safest and most able to take a risk when I have the people around me that I've known forever, whose work I have always respected, who always uh, makes me, they, the people in this company make me work harder. This is extremely particular to Chicago in the world. Is, uh, this is the only place that has a, a very large amount of ensembles. When we were doing August Osage County in London, uh, so many actors would talk to me after the show and say, you, you would never see this work here in London. And I would say, why? And they would say, because ensemble does not exist here. Ensemble is a particular culture to Chicago. And I think one of the reasons for that is Steppenwolf and its longevity.